and we are at the tutorial so let's go back to about and you can see follow API there is only one that's me like I said I literally uploaded this yesterday I found about uh, rapid API a week ago I uploaded uh, this first adapter here yesterday so if you like this tutorial if you I want you to use this rapid API and this adapter and see how you like it and if you like it just you can follow it and of course give me rating here let's go back to our video that in how to subscribe now and use this Mon uh, this MongoDB Wix uh, for a adapter for our Wix website so let's focus on that on the left hand side the first step is to start Wix integration this is all you, you we're gonna focus on this uh, next five not even five like three four minutes only two APIs these this is these are needed now it says subscribe to the test now this is the test that you can run and every time you run a test it's a real-time test so the way it's structured now is like without I don't want you to code at all so don't worry about this section at all all you want to do is this one now get tenant so I'm gonna use the first step is to get tenant click on the subscribe to test immediately it will take you to this pricing uh, page here now let's look at the pricing real quick and what it's this whole uh, rapid API is about so most of the APIs are free especially the Mongo Wix, Wix adapter is free to use with the basic uh, subscription thousand thousand APIs you can use up to thousand there's a hard limit on it and this is for the development purposes I won't suggest uh, using this if you have more a uh, lot of traffic and if you have a lot of traffic more than uh, like about 10 10,000 clicks or 10,000 APIs uh, uh, per month now each API each call is going to count against the API the reason for the giving the 10,000 is because you will see how Wix uh, adapter is chatty like it will continue to bombard your API until it gets the successful message now I, I have not figured that out from a Wix web website with my research for a couple of hours that how to change that but it really is really chatty but don't worry about this a thousand is much better for uh, it's not you're not gonna run out in a month but it is chatty now with uh, the basic you're gonna get the database uh, shared we already know is hosting uh, mongo database and the whole purpose is no code no database knowledge is needed here so they will Yardilo will take care of all the registration of mongo atlas uh, and the database and the whole thing for you if you uh, you want to do this for a uh, for bigger site and you want it uh, to bring your own you're welcome to bring that your own it just uh, you allowed to subscribe to the B pro package and if you want 15,000 more and even if you could want to go unlimited go with the mega package the only difference is that uh, with mega you can use continue to use the shared version or you can bring your own so what bring your own you will you'll find out all the api's now we're gonna work on right now in this video if you have your own database all the data will get stored there all the schemas will get stored there and basically Yardilo will have no visibility in that data at all so if you uh, want to make it more secure just go with your own database and control their data that this is a good option because you can attach your MongoDB instance directly to that database uh, to this API and you can basically you can see where that will go but today we are talking about no code so let's go with the free free subscription for now so I'm gonna click subscribe created successfully now I'm gonna go to the endpoint let's see how it looks like now we have this button test endpoint go back to start Wix integration first step is to get the tenant I want to create the tenant for my Yardilo account now this account so I can connect to the Wix that's simple that is and get tenant all you have to do is select that don't even change don't change anything here and simply click 
test endpoint. Now remember, now this is going to grind a little bit. This is why they, you can see it's taking average latency is 2.6 because behind the scene now you have a instance uh, database instance uh, in the cloud in the Ma uh, MongoDB Atlas and you you will just get this okay now there are no items here so this is the first step don't worry about it go ahead and te test it again so you're gonna test it again and now you got one item back this is your tenant now you if you see this you have successfully created a tenant without a single line of code into Yardilo. So you have a, this tenant. What is this tenant is saying that uh, this is my email ID and this is my Wix adopter. And this is the ID. You have to remember there are only two things you have to remember here is Wix ID in this ID section that is uniquely identifier and the tenant name. Now this tenant name is that's what you want to copy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this ID and basically create a notepad here and paste that ID here and then select that tenant name. I have to have this tenant name. That's important. So that's that's it that's all you have to do here now go back here in the central that you will see that use this call to get the tenant name this name will be used in the configuration section on Wix so in the previous um, in this video we saw a screen and that had a configuration section it was third it was a third text box that third parameter they wanted so this is where you want, that's where you want to paste this. So let's go ahead and I'll just create that JSON. Now I know, I know this is no coding, but I want to have yet to see the completely no coding. I mean, totally no coding. You have to have a JSON understanding a little bit. So I apologize for that. It's, I'm like uh, talking about the no code companies and this is at least you have to have some knowledge of JSON and what that is so I, I just created that took the tenant name out and just created this JSON so let's leave it in this way and go back to the screen again so now the second step once you have created tenant is successfully created simply go to connect to Wix again don't do anything except you will see there are two things that are required so even if you click on this it's not going to let you go anywhere because these ID and the rapid key is required now why this step is needed this is needed because the Wix is adopter it does not allow you to pass in headers now I'm not gonna I don't know how much coding you knowledge you know but there are there are limitations in the Wix uh, API today integration today and that is because of that I had to add this step to make it super no, to make it no code otherwise if I would have received uh, the if I could have passed passed in the uh, headers in the Wix adopt uh, the Wix website you don't need this step at all so anyway so that's how it is so deal with what what it is so this ID is the one that we got from the tenant the Ardilo tenant so I'm gonna copy that and paste it here okay so now this is my tenant and I want to connect that tenant with the rapid key what is this rapid key is right here the X rapid API key now here's another thing this X rapid key is being submitted with each and every call however rapid API I do not know how to get this because I just found out about I, I have no idea how to get this rapid API key into your code rapid API itself they're not passing this to your code underneath so when you receive a request so when it's going to send this request to my, to the API already low API it's only sending the host and not the key so go figure that's another framework um, you have to work with so you have to work within the boundaries of each 
integration provider. So that's no problem. We have solutions for everything. So connect to Wix. There, this is with the rapid key. This is the same exact key. You're going to paste it right here. Now, where did I get that key from? It's right there. This is the key. So I got the value and pasted it here. Once you have that, pretty much it. That's it. There is no bodies required. It's blank body. And just simply click test. Voila. 200 OK. And it is done. So let's wrap this video and see what we have covered so far. And that will be the first step in the tutorial how to create external database. So all of that is recorded here. All the steps. And let's go over one more time. The first thing we did is we, we have a website, a Wix website. Then we came here in the rapidapi.com, signed in ourselves, created an account, and then look for Mongo DB Wix adopter that brought us here. And then we subscribe to it to the basic plan. Once the subscription was completed, then we went straight to start Wix integration clicked on get tenant simply click test let's do that again and this time it's going to regenerate the go through all the process and see and there there it is it brought the same exact um, tenant so we copied that tenant into this notepad and then created this JSON like this. Also copied the ID, pasted it here. Went to connect to Wix. Came here, put in our ID, put in the rapid key, which is this key, which you can copy it from this side on the right hand side here. Copied that here. That was the key and we copy that ID and simply test endpoint. If I do this, it's not gonna hurt. It will just re-register it again. It just updates it. So that is the end of this video and uh, this is all it takes to get this Wix adapter enabled. So now we have Wix adapter. We have rapid API Wix adapter with this MongoDB Wix adapter ready. So in this, uh, this will be the last um, section of this video and see you in the next video then.